Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 Kai's Dragons Netherlands. Let us continue on. We last that off. So we've defeated the uh, Wallonians. We got Flanders. It's looking pretty good for us. Not aggression pack with you. That's fine. So we're now in the Reich's Pact. And we're going to be having our election next year. Then maybe, just maybe, we can try to fix our economy a little bit. So long as we're elected to uh, President of the United States, so we're going to be seeing a four-way civil war over there. And again, that's fine for us. A four-way civil war in the United States means that we never have to worry about them. Ever. I guess actually the better situation would be a two-way civil war between the federal government and the uh, American Union state. That way, it's impossible that they ever join the international. But this is kind of the second best option, I would say. Um, 75, 75%. Yeah, I'll, I'll... No, not yet. Not yet. Give me a 37 on industry. And a 37 on industry. Fantastic. So what are all of our allies doing right now? Ukraine is all the Rada. That is fine. I believe that means they're going to be staying pro Reich's Pact. And everyone else seems mostly okay. Poland. Let's pull it up too. Again, I think it's a little bit too early to tell. Strength in the interpartisan circle. Loading the currency. Right now they're marking liberal. But until uh, Poland has their election, it's kind of hard to say... Which way they'll really start to uh, swing in things. Okay, Civil War in Spain. I think we do want to get involved ASAP. Uh, how many volunteers can we send? We can send one unit. And we'll just send over just one guy. It doesn't really matter who. I think everybody's the exact same troop. So we're going to send you off to Spain. And again, our main priority should be kill CNT. Because we, as long as Spain is anti-Paris... That's really all I care about. We're missing 8,000 rifles. To try and train a bunch of you do yet. Okay, reinforcements are top priority, please. Okay, bicycles for our troops. I think it's those two free divisions. I mean, there are two bicycle divisions. And I honestly, I have no idea if bike, bicycle units are any good. I'm assuming no. Because they're riding fucking bikes. But, you know, let's... Oh, breakthrough and a heart attack? Absolutely. Wait, does this just give me... No, no, this is good. Fantastic. I'm assuming it's decent, right? Like, what? I mean, you only got to use bicycles, I think, as both the Netherlands and Belgium. Are you considered infantry? No, you're considered motorized. No, you're not. Wait. Okay, create a new unit. 23.1. They're basically the exact same. Actually, bicycles are actually better. Okay, they require support equipment. But they're, they're actually kind of better. They have more suppression. And I guess they're faster. 6.4. Yeah, they're 2.4 kilometers faster. Okay, so wait. Bicycles are good? Wait a second. I'm learning new things now. Bicycle divisions are better. I mean, they require support equipment. That's kind of like the big difference here. Because they need... 10 each. Okay, I guess that makes them pretty expensive. 10 support equipment is not... Like, if we were to put, like, an engineering company here, that's only 30. It's interesting for sure. I think if you could have a large industry as Netherlands, you probably could make it work. At least you want to start producing a handful of it, right? Okay, socialists are in control of Norway. That's not a big surprise. That usually happens, like, every single campaign. They join the international. You've had your election. Are you the coalition? No. Okay, fantastic. So Sweden will not be joining uh, the international. Hopefully, it'll end up joining the Reichspact. Usually, a socialist uh, Norway. Kind of one of the triggers for Sweden to join up with our faction. Have a nice uh, frontline heater in Norway. Should be good for us. You, on the other hand. I'm going to say, I'm going to put you here. And I'm going to have you march away straight to uh, the coast. See if we can maybe take this port. Kill these uh, handful of CNT troops. We should be having a pretty, pretty good time. Or at least that's the way I see it. Hopefully that uh, remains the case. Uh, have you assigned into red. And again, you guys should be deploying the red army automatically. Okay. Coup in Bolivia is fine. I'm going to move you here for the reinforce. We should be able to defend decently enough. We'll reinforce at 2%. And the death of von Gilbland Osterhoff. 
Leader of the Ultra Nationalist VNH, uh, Van Garbelan Osterhoff, died today in a home in Amsterdam. His last few years have seen a rapid rise of fortunes for the VNH, brought on by the economic struggles facing many uh, uh, in the country, fear syndicalism and disillusionment with democracy. Whatever the party he leaves behind is highly divided itself between the young newer members of the party, led by Cornelis von Gerkirchen, and the older, more established segment possessing ties to the Dutch military and bureaucracy in the hands of HNA uh, Swart. Swart has been named the new party leader, with Van uh, Gielkirchen his deputy. And the pair look to challenge the establishment parties for control of the Hague in the May elections. I mean, it shouldn't happen. Why are we not reinforcement? I mean, I know 2% isn't, like, instantaneous. Is it 2% per hour? I think it's 2% per hour. And we should have supplies in here. They sh we should be okay. Extra military factory. We'll use that for our support equipment for our bicycles. Defense on, you know what? Defense on core territory. They'll actually be really good for the anti-British uh, naval units. Order. At 27, huh? You've actually got some... I guess you're a tank division. Are you a French tank division? Yes, you are. France is just sending in better units than uh, than we can. I mean, unless Germany were to send in some uh, tanks, but I think they just sent it in. No, no, they sent in oh two heavy tanks. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. The marriage of Juliana. Today, Crown Princess Juliana is marrying her fiance, the Prince Bernard Zer uh, Leap Besterfield, who renamed himself to be von Leap Besterfield in Dutch style. The announcement alone had uh, provoked a wave of happiness throughout the uh, Christ of the Netherlands, and the ceremony certainly will do no less. The national feasts will uh, sure do distract a bit from the current bad economic circumstances and forms a spot of hope for those in despair at the end of the uh, cr in the country. So a little bit more stability, a little bit of political power. That's nice. As long as the people don't realize we're spending millions and millions of whatever... What did the Netherlands use as a currency in the 30s? I don't know. We're spending millions of dollars, essentially, on a royal wedding... Hopefully they don't think about that part. As long as they don't think about... We're, at, we're using negative six. We have 400 and we're, we're not using 406. What the hell What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? That we're using negative six convoys. I mean, it's fine as long as it doesn't break the game. I mean, it says we have none. Trade and supply eight. Remain unused 406. Like, are we getting some from our puppet state in Flanders? Like, is that... Is that what we're looking at here? I mean, potentially, yes. Okay, four Balkans war. Do I want to support any side in this war? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say no, because again, Bulgaria is Zveno. Zveno is pro-Moscow. Our, our main hope in the Balkans is that the war does last forever. And then the more deaths there are, the better it is for my uh, position. 9067, you put a reinforcement there, which is not great. You have kind you kind of have supplies here. Do we have any trucks? No, we don't. How many units does Flanders have? Give me all of your units. Flanders, you should not have an independent army. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And actually, I'm gonna put let's say three Flanders troops into the defensive line. And again, I want you now moving your way into uh Ports along the coast, please and thank you. Okay, stand off in America is fine. Why are you not defending this port? Yeah, port should be your top priority. Everything else is more of a nice to have. Better attack and defense against forts. That's pretty good. Makes your engineers better. You know what? Four anti aircraft guns for free. 100% I'll take that. 100%. We'll be able to use that against the International Air Force. I want you going in here. But then you're sending reinforcements in. I really want to kind of cut this all off. And I know it's not going to be super easy to get done. Okay, so Finland's on the Reich's fact. They're more of a speed bump for the Russians, so... That is fine for us. Excavation 1. What do we, what do we have again for trade? Mostly oil. A little bit of aluminum. Spain's taking 16 oil. We're trading some of this to Egypt. I'm kind of thinking if we want to get off of free trade, that, that might actually benefit us. 
You know what? Conversion, an early game conversion before you have any uh, upgrades probably actually makes sense. Let, let's go with that tech. I don't use it too often, so I think I think uh, this would be a nice change of pace for us. I really want you guys dead. I mean, I wouldn't mind killing the Carlos first as well. Fortress Buster, eh. Okay, again, I want you gone. Social unrest in the Netherlands. Past few months have seen the growth of violent confront confrontations between paramilitary bands of both the left and the right, with street fights and almost daily occurrence in larger cities. Strikes are commonplace, with either the police or the Landsvog black shirts breaking the strikers' pickets. The police have failed to keep order, and the army often having to take uh, uh, often having to offer support. This has only served to increase dissent and further civil disobedience. If, in, if the situation continues to escalate, the election in May uh, looks to be the most contentious in living men. I look. I was going to finish the sentence, but as soon as I saw that I'm going to be taking another negative fire sensibility, my brain just stopped. And it's like, what are you talking about? I'm at one percent stability. I understand that the country's not in the best shape. But I mean, at at one percent, I feel like we're better than one percent. You're kind of moving around again. This would be so nice to encircle, but I know it's not going to be easy to do. I mean, you're pushing a little bit, but okay, we saw Madrid. Okay, okay. Where do I, I mean, let's send you for a reinforcement up north. We now have this as a port, so that's going to be nice for our supplies. I think I want you countering like this afterwards. 8460, we've got a tank division supporting us. I think I would prefer for the heavy tank to drive their way straight to Valencia. 10% cheaper trucks? Actually, that's, that's fantastic. I don't have any trucks. But that'll be an issue for us. I mean, you could go radar detection. You know, I feel like radar detection actually helped us a lot when we were playing as uh, Milafrica. Let, let's build a handful. We can build them in both Germany and we can also build them in uh, in our own country. Okay, we can get a small encirclement here of an Italian and a CNT troop. Get them killed off. Excellent. Radio propaganda is going to be for war support. I don't need war support, though. Like, I appreciate it, but it's not what we're, what we're missing right now. How, the, how are they doing, by the way? Not not great? Okay. Well, the war's ended. I don't know how many casualties were caused. Hopefully, a uh, a nice number. Also, how are you all feeling with the war? High, high, and I'm assuming high as well. Yes. These guys have low supplies, so they'd be probably pretty easy to kill here. The Zwoll Massacre. A socialist rally outside Zwoll, organized by local council communists, ended in tragedy as one of the strikers threw a bomb in the midst of the police who were trying to disperse the crowd. Four policemen died, and the police immediately returned fire onto the crowd, killing two dozen strikers. At dawn the next morning, the police, openly backed by the local chapter of the Lanchvak, arrested local socialist leaders en masse, including the nephew of Hank Zivit, leader and founder of the RSAP. These actions have escalated further protests throughout the country, the end of VDB calling on the Prime Minister Colin to publicly condemn what they refer to as illegal detention. Let me get a quick little save here. Because I think if we mess this up, we could have the Socialist Revolution, and I, I do not want that to happen. Okay. The people are innocent. This might also lead us to having like a nationalist back coup. Which, I mean, isn't the worst... Because Nationalist Netherlands, I think, is still... Can we still join the Reichspact? I mean, as long as we're not going socialist, that's really all we care about. This is for Switzerland. Almost certainly, yes. That, it's for uh, Upper Savoy. Yeah, and I want you marching away straight to Valencia. There's a unit in Valencia. Okay. Because we can take Valencia. That should reduce their war fervor. But I think I'm pretty sure it's based on the number of victory points they control. Excavation 1. Honestly, I'm kind of mad about it. Give me uh, infantry weapons. I want one of you to leave.
They're actually counterattacking into us. A little ballsy. American gangers or American goers are Dutch syndicates that have assembled in large groups to prepare to fight as volunteers with the combined syndicates in the American Civil War. Their preparations are almost complete, which presents a problem for our government as to how to approach them. If we let them leave, it could jeopardize potential future relations with whichever non syndicalist power is victorious in America. Within the government, most people are advocating forfeiture of citizenship if they join the syndicalist army as per law. Some say the Dutch expression, prevention is better than a cure, applies here. And then there are some who think we should just let them spend their holiday in America. You know what? Just let them go. Give me the stability, man. And I'm, I'll be quite honest, I don't think that event has any actual uh, lingering effects. I'm like 90... 94.862% sure. That it doesn't actually do anything for us. Okay, war in Hungary. I would like Valencia. For sure. That's kind of my... This is my current goal is Valencia. And I think it'd be quite nice to have. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not joking, put a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.